All right, so um, inside here we have some water, not distilled water, so it's just tap water, which means it is conductive. Um, now we're going to turn this on. I've got 30 volts across here. This is uh, plus 30, zero volts. Okay, now these are basically parallel plates. We know that the voltage drops from 30 volts to zero volts and between parallel plates, the voltage drops linearly. We also know that the electric field between parallel plates points from high voltage to low voltage and is um, uniform. The electric field is uniform. Electric fields point from high to low voltage. All right. Well, what? So I'm going to take my fingers and stick them in here. Spread my fingers like this. Do I feel anything? Since the electric field is uniform, then the voltage here, 30 volts here, 0 volts here, 15 volts here, and is like that. And I can show you by getting out measuring the voltage difference. Let's see, do I have do I have a voltage here? There we go. Just showed something for a minute. 30 volts. Yeah, it should be 30 volts. This should give me zero, right? Yeah. You're okay. If I go like this, it should start to give me some. I mean, it's not fluctuating like it was when you put it on the metal. Right. Yeah, I think that's that's a much better reading of the water. Yeah. 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 Right. But if I go this way, I don't get a voltage difference because the electric field is uniform between the plates and I'm at lines of equal potential this way. This way, I get voltage difference. You want a good lab? Let's plot voltage as a function of distance. The AP exam writes this as E, E, I, T, R, um, number one, I'm using two fingers on one hand. Right. Not using two hands, why not? Because going to run through your whole body. Then I got AC across my heart, which is a bad idea. I'm not using three fingers, why not? So you're double, do double to voltage. Parallel packs. Right. Yeah. right, for the same voltage I'm getting oh, more yeah. current. And um, obviously, very obviously, anybody who has a pacemaker or any kind of heart issues, don't you dare touch this. And uh, um, if, uh, if you have broken skin, like I had a kid who had a big paper cut there, I said, if you have a paper cut, broken skin, don't do it. Um, not because it's going to hurt you, but it's going to hurt. I mean, he, he, he said, can I try it? I said, yeah. He says, ow! That doesn't hurt. You go wider than that. Oh, now I do. And somehow... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Is, is this just tap water as well? Mm -hmm. So you need to use tap water, right? You can't use this stuff. As long as it's not yeah. still understand why I'm using AC instead of DC. Anybody know? Well, for one thing, you won't feel the tingle with the DC. It'll still work for voltage. Like, there. Yeah. Um, you can still measure the voltage with a voltmeter, but you won't feel the tingle with DC.